Hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel where we talk about stuff. And I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure you know exactly, <laughs> if you don't know by now, where this is going. The amount of Bitcoin that people think that there is to buy is not actually there. The accumulation levels of Bitcoin that we've been seeing have continued to either stay the same or rise. The problem is even staying the same is an egregious amount of Bitcoin. Uh, back in the long, long ago, I mean, basically any time before the 11th of January 2024, uh, accumulation rates for Bitcoin were always very high. If you've been watching this channel or my other channel, The Modern Investor, we go over daily cryptocurrency news and we talk about these levels of accumulation. The accumulation that's currently happening in our space is unprecedented. We have never seen anything like this before. Like, it's not a thing. The ETFs that we have for Bitcoin became the largest ETFs on the planet in three months' time. That's BlackRock's ETF. The accumulation levels and the amount of money that we still consistently are seeing being pushed into Bitcoin are also quite staggering. We used to get news quite often before that the amount of Bitcoin that a company was buying was around 1,500 Bitcoin and everyone would jump for joy. We had some times where we heard that a company over the course of a year had purchased 60, 70,000 Bitcoin and that's, an, that's a lot. It's a huge amount of Bitcoin. When you consider the 8 b billion people that we have on the planet who will never own an entire Bitcoin. Every time that this accumulation happens, it is literally taking away Bitcoin from a millionaire and or billionaire that we have on the planet. The amount of Bitcoin that keeps getting taken off of cryptocurrency exchanges also continues to, to go up. Uh, historically... We see that during bearish or negative sad moments in crypto, uh, people tend to put their Bitcoin onto it. This is on for some reason. I don't, I don't know why. Uh, onto crypto exchanges uh, as a way of holding it, having it there. And it's often speculated that larger players actually put their crypto there to keep downward pressure on the market. If you show that there's not a lot of Bitcoin there, while well, you're showing that the interest is very high. During the course of an accumulation period, you typically, as a whale, a manipulator, an institution, want to put your Bitcoin on there to pe make people think, well, there's no real happenings on right now. All the while, this Bitcoin continues to be accumulated. We've seen this over the last couple of years as well. A company... Excuse me, terrible. A company called CryptoQuant recently revealed that recently, haha, <laughs> uh, that whales have taken off around 20,000 Bitcoin from a number of different crypto exchanges and moved them directly to whale addresses. The whale addresses uh, being large accounts. Typically, whales depends on the metrics that you want to use as Bitcoin becomes more and more valuable in price. Some people will say that a whale is someone holding over a thousand Bitcoin. Some will say 500. Some will say 100. As these people continue to become multimillionaires, the idea of what a whale actually is continues to shift in the space. Typically, it's typically it's people with over 1,000 Bitcoin already in a wallet who are accumulating. We get a lot of whale news quite often within this space. But this is one that really kind of took me out. Just as a quick refresher, I'm sure you all know, believe me, I'm sure you all know. Uh, there are only 450 Bitcoin being created per day by the system, by the network. Uh, these coins, uh, these 450, collectively from people around the world who are mining Bitcoin, are not re-entering cryptocurrency exchanges. They're being purchased, if they are sold at all, 
by large banks, and we know this because the cryptocurrency mining companies told us that they've been getting calls and meetings with banks who are like, if you sell, sell them to us. We, w we do not want them to hit the market. We want this Bitcoin for ourselves. Everyone there? Cool. The amount of Bitcoin that's being accumulated by the ETFs per day is we also just had news about this as well. In the first week of June, one week, it was actually five trading days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, the ETF issuers just within the United States accumulated two months worth of Bitcoin mining just from the ETFs within the United States. We are currently at the point where the amount of Bitcoin on crypto exchanges is so low, it's where we were last bull run. Did everyone get that? Back in 2021, what happens is every bull run, there's a certain amount of Bitcoin on exchanges. And as the price goes up, people actually take their crypto off for safekeeping, for holding, who knows what it is. The more crypto that comes off, the more pressure there actually is on price. As people look for Bitcoin to buy, where do they go? They go to crypto exchanges. The problem once again is all the Bitcoin on crypto exchanges is not liquid. It's not there for you and your family members to go and buy at will. You got that as well? Cool. A lot of people assume that the number you hear about how much Bitcoin is left on a crypto exchange is indicative of a, you know, you can literally go all the way down to zero and buy as much Bitcoin as you want, and then there's nothing left. There are tens of millions of people on the planet who hold their crypto and their Bitcoin on exchanges and have no desire to use them or sell them or trade them. We're living in a world now where we're getting indications and we're being told by analysts that by summer 2025, Bitcoin may be, no one knows, may be between $300,000 and $600,000 per coin. The amount of people who are selling are very low, but the people who are selling are brand new people to the market who are flustered, frustrated with the fact that prices aren't skyrocketing as quick as they want. They sell their coins. We get whale news. Those coins are bought up nearly instantaneously. This news comes from a company called Santiment, S-A-N-T-I-M-E-N-T. -E They're an on-chain analytics company who basically goes through the chains and through numbers to figure out happenings that are currently happening within the cryptocurrency space. According to Santiment, and I really want you to hear this number, I, I, I want this to almost rattle you in a way. There are 8 billion people on the planet. I say that a lot, and I saw some people making fun of the fact that I was saying 8 billion over and over. Like, yeah, we get it, we get it. And it's like, no, you're. if you found time to make a joke and not invest more, you're not getting it. You're actually doing the exact opposite. You're finding time to make fun of me to make yourself feel better because you're not where you are in life. What we're witnessing is insane. 8 billion people on the planet. There's zero hope that this, this allocation of Bitcoin, the way that I would like it to go, I want everyone on the planet to have some Bitcoin. This is how we get the full network effect and have us move into a brand new financial system. Eight billion people. I think, what, what's the number? Isn't it 40 or 50 million? I think the, the, the amount of people on the planet who are millionaires and billionaires, I think it's 40 million people out of 8 billion people. Maximum 21 million Bitcoin, 19 million have been mined, 5 to 7 million are lost and gone forever. Santiment says that according to their numbers, there are only currently 942,000 Bitcoin left on exchanges. If every millionaire and billionaire right now went to an exchange, they could not have a coin for each of them. Even more of a problem, those 942,000 coins, according to Santiment, are not all liquid. They're not going to all be sold ever or at the exact same time. There was, a, there was a survey done a while ago that we also went over. A lot of people are expecting 
Bitcoin to go to a million plus dollars over the course of the next couple of years, whatever the time frame might be. And that's when they plan on using their Bitcoin. If they have a million dollars in the bank, then they're more inclined to spend 2000 here, 500 here. They don't want to liquidate the entirety of their Bitcoin. Because if we're talking about a million dollar Bitcoin in five and a half years, as all the analysts have said, Bitcoin's price in 2040 will logically be even higher. Same as in 2050, you have a lot more money to play with and also to uh, give to family members, uh, what have you. 942,000 Bitcoin. They said this is the lowest number since the bull run in 2021 that's on exchanges. And we are currently in the midst of a situation where uh, we are waiting for Bitcoin to basically to you know mega skyrocket. We don't have a lot of Bitcoin left to go around. I think these numbers are far. A lot of what's been happening, we're constantly farther ahead than I think that we would have been at this time. I mentioned that last year and also maybe the year before. I expected where we are, even accumulation-wise, it would take another maybe decade. If we're at 942,000 Bitcoin on exchanges according to Santiment, once again, link in the description below for those of you who want to read this article as well. <clears throat> If we have the ETF issuers at over a million plus Bitcoin already, I'm expecting by the end of summer, the ETF issuers are going to have over 2 million Bitcoin. Where's that Bitcoin going to come from? Especially if the OTC markets are drying up and people on exchanges, some of them will sell, but a lot of them are not going to be. I know a lot of people who have no intention of selling this this cycle or the next. They're waiting for like, they want to make big money, like big, big money. They also have their own investments, what have you, so on and so forth. But yeah, what we're witnessing now is absolutely crazy. And I mean, I, I, you know, I thank you all for being on this journey with me. Um, but I really want everyone to understand what's happening. If by the time we get to September... This is when, once again, people are still throwing out the 150,000 plus Bitcoin. Uh, more coins will be taken off of exchanges and more of it will be allocated to the ETFs. And, you know, they're also still normal, normal rich people who are buying. We see these wallet addresses all the time. They're, they're buying 15 Bitcoin per day. They're buying 100 Bitcoin per day. They already have 22,000 Bitcoin. They're buying one or two different Bitcoin Every single day, these numbers add up quite quickly. This is all Bitcoin that's being taken off of the market, not only for the wealthy, but also for you. So when we get to the ETFs are holding over 2 million Bitcoin, when we get news that there's around 400, 300,000 Bitcoin that's left on exchanges and very few people are selling, time still goes forward. So imagine if that's the stringent situation by September. Imagine what will happen by summer 2025. How little Bitcoin there will be. I think this is, I mean, logically, I think this has all been one gigantic setup. When you talk about a supply shock, I think this is like a supply Kamehameha. K.O. Ken times 10 kind of thing. If you get the references, if you don't, this is a crazy setup. It's not even a perfect storm. It's something like we've never experienced before. They will hold all the coins. They're already holding the vast majority of the coins. And they will continue to do so. And the problem is, as time goes forward and we get to 2030, I think we're going to experience collectively, me, you, all of us, we're going to see... It's, it's not FOMO. What's the term for it? SADMO? Where people are going to realize what they could have done, what money they could have allocated, and they'll realize that they could have been rich by simply buying the news, as it were. Um, I think that's going to be, I said it before, I think it's going to be a very difficult time for a huge portion of the planet. 
Because a lot of people, I'm still in the situation where I tell people what's happening. And it's a very like, oh, cool. Wow, wow. So where are we eating tonight? Like that kind of, um, but the people who get it. And I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a pretty weird sentence. But my friend told it to me. And I saw it also on Twitter many times. The, the, the phrase is, uh, we buy Bitcoin at the price that we deserve. And we are the early adopters and the, we're going to have some uh, late comers, if you will, but the stragglers, the people who will be in the exact same position financially that they are now in 20 years, I think it's going to be really devastating. We already have a problem where people can't retire now. And we see the pension funds are allocating money into Bitcoin because they know where this market's going. So yeah, Santiment released a new report. They said this is the lowest level since 2021. There is now, according to their numbers, 942,000 Bitcoin left on crypto exchanges for 8 billion people. And also, you want to crunch it down, 942,000 coins for tens of millions of millionaires. You, you will see on the news in 10 years, millionaires being like, I didn't, I, I didn't buy any. I, I didn't know what to do. And their wealth will have shifted. The U.S. dollar is already garbage. The U.S. dollar has lost 99% of its value to Bitcoin in 10 years. Imagine the next 10 years. Imagine when Bitcoin takes over the market cap of gold. Right. Not to be too intense, but I'm just telling you what's going on. Um, I do sincerely hope that you've all enjoyed. I know, I know a lot is happening every single day. I do hope that you've all enjoyed. I do hope you all are having a great day, a great morning, a great afternoon, a great evening, wherever you are, wherever the heck you might be. I do hope it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, thank you all once again for watching, listening, liking, commenting, and supporting. And I will most certainly be talking to you all soon. See you.